Hey YouTube, welcome back to Russ's Retro Rides. If you missed last week's video, you're probably gonna wanna check that out before you watch this week's. With that said guys, let's get into the video. All right, so this is part two of the installing an intake manifold on a Pontiac V8 engine. Uh, if you missed last week's video, I went over how to prepare your cylinder heads. All you gotta do at this point, if your cylinder heads look very similar to this, is uh, get your gaskets placed on your heads just like this. And this can be sort of difficult if you're doing it by yourself, but it can be done. The intake that I'm gonna be installing today is an Edelbrock Performer Pontiac intake. It is not the RPM. I did not wanna deal with the hood gap issues um, that come with that particular intake. And you can see once I get this in frame that I've gone ahead and already installed my thermostat uh, gasket or my, my water neck gasket, uh, my thermostat, and my temp sensor, sensor. Now normally on a Pontiac, the temp sensor is on the side of the passenger side cylinder head or on one of the cylinder heads. Uh, but because I was, I'm was i swapping this from an Oldsmobile 403 to a Pontiac 350, I opted to put the thermostat here so the, I didn't have to cut up the harness or anything. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to just set this down something like that get it close and that went in really easy because the intake is you know not heavy <laughs> the old cast iron ones are ridiculously heavy and sometimes it's just nice to have a friend help you when you're doing that so I've got the intake exactly where I want it and my gasket is pretty much lined up I want it. Um, you can see I'm using a, a long screwdriver to kind of get it sort of lined up. Now, you have to replace, there's a O-ring, a rubber O-ring that goes here and it pushes the water pump and the intake together. It's, I'm sure I'm going to have issues with leaking here, so I might seal this with some silicone or something in the future, but for right now, I'll just leave it alone to show you guys. But there's a bolt here that comes with a, uh, some spacers. The spacers look like this. I had to get some washers because the person that I bought the engine from lost them. Uh, but I tend to tighten this down first. All right, so this is a 7 16 bolt. You're gonna try to snug this down a just a little bit. Uh, you can leave it loose. I, I like to leave everything loose before I go and torque everything down. I don't believe that there's a torque spec for this, but I might be wrong. If you guys know, uh, please feel free to leave the Torque spec in the comment section to help your fellow car enthusiasts out. All right, so uh, I've gone ahead and uh, got my intake bolts sort of finger tight and started, but it, you can still wiggle the intake. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to continue to tighten this bolt down, uh, and then we're going to get to torquing down the intake. Now that this is tightened down, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down but not torque them yet. So some of these bolts are going to require a, a deep socket, four of them will. The rest of them can be done with your regular socket. They are, in the case of this engine, they are all 9 16 heads and when it comes to tighten them, tightening them down there isn't a real particular order that you have to do them in. I follow the, I guess you could call it the star pattern, so I, I, wherever you start you work your way across. Um, and, and work your way back is how I tend to do it so you get a more uniform uh, bolt down but that only is I guess only really important when you're actually forking the intake down All right, and just like that, we've got all of our bolts tightened down. Now what we've got to do is uh, torque them down to the right torque spec, and then you have successfully installed your intake manifold on a, your Pontiac V8. Let's get to it. All right, so the last thing we've got to do is torque these bolts down. So it calls for 40 pound feet, so let's go up to 40 pound feet on the torque wrench, lock it in, and we'll use the deep socket. We'll go in a star pattern, so we'll go 
There's 40 pound feet. Now we're gonna go back to the corner. And I mean, 40 is a decent torque. It's not too tight, but it's it's tight. It's just about the point where bolts start to stretch. Now here's the problem you're going to run into with the torque wrench. See, I can't get that head of the torque wrench on there unless I was using a real short socket and even then it wouldn't work too well. So I'm going to take my 3 8 ratchet and tighten these down the best that I can, you know, because I, I just felt what 40 pound feet feels like. So right about there is about 40. Do not over tighten these. You do not want to break one of these off in the cylinder head. You will be in a really, really bad situation if you have to tap a head out. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully installed an intake on a Pontiac 350 engine. If you guys enjoyed today's content, be sure to subscribe, leave me a like, and uh, feel free to leave me a comment on things that I can do better in my videos. Uh, I'd really appreciate the support. You know, when you guys comment, it, it makes it a little bit easier for me because I can adjust to what you guys want to see. But with that said, guys, be sure to tune in to next week's video. And if you haven't seen any of my prior videos, you should probably go take a look at those too. Anyway, thank you so much, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon.